कुवलसे फ्रॉम वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर इन टुडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी एंड एथिक्स रिलेटेड आस्पेक्ट्स इन मैनेजमेंट एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन व्यूवर्स आर एक्सपेक्टेड टू अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट of uh, social responsibilities of the management and uh, ethics in management talking about social responsibility here management of any organization be it manufacturing or uh, service sector these management people these organizations they have certain responsibilities towards the society wherein they are working again these social responsibilities are a sort of obligatory to the organizations they have to in reciprocal give something to the society third point it may be taken to mean is very clearly said intelligent as well as objective concern these two things are mentioned here what for for the welfare of the stakeholders from the society wherein your organization is working these things are very important at this point of time i expect you people to think of different domains for social res uh, responsibility for the management let's talk about this varieties of domains compiled in certain way uh, there can be different domains uh, beyond what is put up here uh, one domain put up here is the ecology and the environmental quality nowadays as you all know pollution has been the buzzword across the world and uh, carbon footprint you must have heard of what types of different gases are being uh, put up as pollutants to the environment environment by the organizations so these are things are very important and uh, people have been very cautious the sustainability issues have been uh, very rightly addressed nowadays by many organizations so that is one domain wherein uh, uh industries can uh, contribute uh, as a part of their social responsibilities and as many organizations they do uh, go into plantation of uh, lots of thousands of trees uh, you will find some organizations who have planted almost like they have created forests you can say in certain acres of lands and uh, that's what is one way they can look into contributing to the social responsibility second one we can think of towards a consumption that is uh, true and fair business dealings that is uh, what are the products are being put up by the company uh, they must be genuine one and uh, companies must offer certain warranties and uh, services must also be rendered like uh, after sales service kinds of things uh, companies must offer properly so that is also nowadays uh, the part of uh, really contributing in a positive sense to the society then comes up as uh, the community needs uh, like you can say provide the expert service for uh, some local issues locally certain organizations maybe you can take the example of uh, mining industry so for mining industries locally if some issues are there as a part of social responsibility companies can uh, address those issues health care related health checkup camps maybe education related programs uh, this is one domain uh, wherein industries can uh, contribute towards the society next one is government and uh, labor relation now here you can think of uh, uh, restricting on a lobbying this is a very vital issue and uh, political intervention and uh, you know uh, positively uh, staying away from that in view of betterment of the society 
are some delicate issues but they can be handled by organizations as well as uh, providing you know flexible working time uh, in recent times during pandemic as you all must be knowing many organizations have been uh, recommending their employees particularly in software organizations they are going into hybrid mode like offline working partly as well as uh, partly people still can work uh, from home so uh, if such flexibilities are being offered for the working time then these people have found it uh, as uh, quite workable and uh, results have been uh, very fruitful so people prefer that also next one in this is uh, shareholders relations now here uh, what is expected by the shareholders what are their interests even that can be thought uh, as one of the domains in contributing towards the society coming to the ethics part of uh, management uh, basically the word ethics uh, has come up from the greek word ethos which uh, actually includes uh, many more aspects uh, together like character like beliefs like community or the people and many more things are uh, being put together as uh, the meaning of the word ethos in uh, as a greek word and if we just try to uh, look into the definition given by websters uh, ethics is uh, basically nothing but the discipline one has to be disciplined uh, while dealing with what like dealing with which is good and bad now good and bad is a relative term no doubt but still uh, there can be consensus on what can be really said as a good in the view of the society and uh, as ethical concern and what can be said as bad and uh, of course with moral their moral duty as well as obligatory aspects one industry i can tell you is the tata group i heard like they are not manufacturing any tobacco related products so that is their ethical concern towards the society and even uh, they are not into alcohol uh, related products manufacturing so that is their concern and uh, can be said as the uh, ethical aspects of that particular industry so similar to this different organizations can have different ethical issues now here i am giving you some examples to understand uh, what really uh, means with the ethics as some examples are given here so first point is give fair and uh, equitable treatment to all of your uh, employees and uh, you know like uh, some favoritism kind of a thing some recommendation kind of thing and some illegal aspects towards some employees favoritism and other like if you don't have that thing then you can be said yeah when I mean, you are into ethical aspects give fair have fair relationship fair treatment to all employees second example here is uh, these are some examples is of course you can have many more beyond the ones listed here just to understand what is really ethics uh, some examples i have listed here second is uh, you know like if you are uh, using weighing machine then uh, the weight 1 kg weight you will find you know people cheat sometimes actually if we compare with the standard weights then the 1 kg weight used in the market by some people it doesn't really uh, contribute to 1 kg that might be 900 grams or 950 grams so 50 grams to uh, 100 grams if you talk then in percentage it comes out to be 5% on 10% so that's not ethical other example is uh, charging fair prices from the customer with a reasonable profit you know like something you manufacture at 10 rupees and charge 1000 rupees cannot be said as ethical uh, next you can take is uh, to pay due taxes to government and uh, other bodies gst or earlier we had uh, vat and uh, octra whatever in early periods paying all due taxes to the government and the concern authorities again is a part of being ethical then to provide good working conditions nowadays even in cnc machines robotics and such things uh, sometimes you know computers and uh, such digital equipments they do need ac and all that on a very extreme side i'm saying 
So likewise, the working conditions must be conducive. Then to minimize the environmental degradation, we have said the sustainability and uh, sustainable development goals. UN has declared uh, certain 17 goals towards this. So industries can address those things to be well with the environmental uh, you know, protection. Then to avoid or to minimize the corruption related things, uh, even is can be a part of your ethical aspects. So these are the some reference books beyond which you can even refer a uh, lot of material from internet also. Thank you.